Good morning, party people. Welcome to the Breakdown with Nath and the Princess. She's not Princess. Hi. Today we're checking out the brand new track from Dream State. She's not Princess. Yeah, we haven't checked out Dream State for a while on the channel. Uh, I believe they've got a new vocalist now. Oh, that's a fun fact. Yeah, I believe they had a new vocalist on the last vocalist on the last stuff they remembered. Uh, Everyone knows how I feel about Dream State and CJ and Reese leaving, and I haven't really liked the new tunes since with Jesse. But this, oh my god, is a banger. Okay, so right, Jesse is obviously the new singer. The things you find out in the comments, you know what I mean? Mm. If you go to our comment section, you'll see. You guys are idiots. That <laughs> thumbnail was funny though. <laughs> Reaction starts at two minutes forty-five. Seven minutes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jesus. We ramble, baby. We do ramble. Yeah, keen to check this one out. I have Dream State on my my Femical Romance playlist. Uh, they're a really good band. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really I, interested in this one. If there's a change of vocalist, change mm. of something, that can really change the dynamic of a band. So yeah, for sure. Chin Up Princess is the name of the song. Johnny's name is Princess. Yep, gonna get it tattooed on my ass cheek. Which one? Oh, yeah, this ass cheek. See, it's gonna go across. Prince S's. Yeah. <laughs> hey, check out the Patreon if you want to help us out. Check out the merchandise. A devil on the run, but always down for fun. She had it all, yeah. She ruled everyone from a pedestal behind a broken wall. Sorry, so just waiting for the fall. Reminds me a little bit of Mon from Relka. Oh, yeah, okay. Interesting. Gives me Red Hook vibes as well. Yeah, huge Strong Red, Red Hook, Hook vibes. vibes. Mm -hmm. um, the layered vocal there yeah. is interested. I, uh, interested? Interesting. No, it's interested. It's, Tell it what you think. What I think about you is you are interesting. It adds a know cool dynamic. But yeah, we talked before. Live, yeah. how that sounds. The breakdown there, mm -hmm. her vocals elevated. Yeah. The music didn't. Oh. The music stayed the same tonally for me the whole way through there. So it didn't have a kick. Didn't kick in as much. In as, the same way as yeah, her yeah. aggressive vocals did. Do you think potentially they are, I know we're sort of stopping mid-song for this, but do you think maybe with having a new vocalist, they're trying to let the light shine on her a little bit and show what she can do? I don't know how many songs they've done with her. Yeah, the production is just interesting on that. Because there, there were some like deep sort of screams behind there as well, which yeah. was cool.
done this little more. Oh, get it! Good effort. Good vocalist. I know I liked a lot of it, but I'm going to have to give it another listen. Sure. Just, it's just not what I'm used to from them in a production sense. Obviously, the vocals are a little bit different. Uh, if there's anyone that's, you know, fallen off the band or not enjoying the band simply because they have a different vocalist, I don't really... I don't really agree with that. Like, I mean, obviously each to their own, but that wouldn't be a, a deciding factor for me because she's a great vocalist. Like, she Phenomenal vocalist. has a great, like, range with her cleans. Uh, she has a great range with her screens. She's got, like, she's a very, very strong vocalist. Um, the things I liked was her vocals. I like that new element, that sort of, like, I guess, like, like a really watered down prodigy sort of element that it had to it with okay, the, sure. that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, and I liked that the song had a lot of moving parts and went through a lot of different sort of, I, I guess, stylistic changes. Mm -hmm. uh, and I like that it sees the band going quite a bit heavier than I'm used to from them. They definitely had heavy moments. They had heavy moments. The but previous lineup. That was much heavier. Vocally, particularly. Yeah. The aggression. In the vocals, like that whole end bit there, realistically. Yeah. Um, I'm just not sure as a whole if the song was there for me. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I think I really enjoyed the older stuff from Dream State we checked out. I thought, was it CJ? Was that the vocalist? Um, I can't remember. I thought she had a phenomenal range, but I feel like the songs were super well written too. Mm. And the production was different. That sounded to me like a different band. Yeah, the production was interesting. It, the drums were a little muddy, so I, I feel like the, like an, if they're going for that sort of, that industrial tinge, it makes sense, but when you've got things like breakdowns kicking in and yeah. double kick, it kind of gets, gets a little bit lost in the mix. And I think that's why some parts of it didn't have as much impact as your stock standard breakdown or whatever would have had. Because a little bit of that, that, that sort of straight on the beat, like, you know, that tight kick drum and yeah. really crisp sound, crisp yeah. snare that cuts through the mix wasn't as prominent there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's the thing. I would love to hear it against all the other stuff they've done as well. Yeah, agreed. I think that would, maybe I haven't listened to the band too much lately to be able to compare them accurately. So I will definitely go and give it another play in a playlist sense of like, oh, this is mm. that, and then some older stuff and sort of see how it fits in the mix. Yeah, for sure. What did you guys think of Chin Up Princess, the brand new single from Dream State? Is that your first time checking them out? If so, did you enjoy it? But you didn't tell us what you thought. Well, it's because the battery's about to on my camera. I was going to wrap it up. <laughs> okay. I thought it was... I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. That's my very brief... I, I, that's I enjoyed fair. it. That's fair. It didn't quite hit there on the first time, but I think it has potential. I definitely hear more. Yeah, maybe it's just a familiarity thing. We need to get more familiar with it. That might be it. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.